is a very different video to what I'm usually doing. Today, there's been something on my mind that I kind of want to talk about on my channel. There's this game show, you may have heard of it, you may have not, called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? A show where you can answer 15 questions with the aid of three lifelines, you'll win a million pounds. On the 9th of September 2001, there was about to be a show on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire that the world would never, ever forget. There was this contestant called Charles Ingram. He was determined to win a million pounds. But in a very, very different way. A way that no one was ever expecting. Now, please bear in mind that this is based on a true story, so this actually did happen. However, I'm going to reenact the scene in a Lego stop motion format, and me and my friend Blade 46 are going to be doing the voice acting for this. But please bear in mind, this is a true story. So, the major seemed to have sailed through the first lot of questions. But when he reaches to £2,000, things started to get a little bit more tricky and resulted in using two of his three lifelines on the £2,000 and £4,000. When was the last time you've seen Coron Coronation Street? <laughs> I've never watched it actually. <laughs> Been on for 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> In Coronation Street, who is Audrey's daughter? Janice, Neil, Linda, or Sally? Uh, I like to ask the audience. Okay, audience. In Coronation Street, who is Audrey's daughter? Janice, Neil, Linda, or Sally? Who we'll vote now? I think I'll follow the audience, I'll go with Gail. We got there, £2,000. The River Foyle is found in which part of the United Kingdom? England? Scotland? Northern Ireland? Or Wales? Well, the lifelines are there to help, so I think I'll find a friend. Okay. Hello? Hello, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Good evening. Oh, hello there. Charles will tell you the questions. There are four possible answers. One of them is worth four thousand pounds. Thirty seconds, starting now. The River Foyle is found in which part of the United Kingdom? England, Scotland, Northern Ireland, or Wales? Northern Ireland. Well, okay. Thank you. Yeah, Northern Ireland. I, I think I'll follow his advice. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got four thousand pounds. Yes. At this point, the studio ran out of time, so Charles Ingram had to come over the next day for as the role of the contestant. But this time, they had a plan. Someone called Tekman Wittick was going to be on the show the next day as the fastest finger first contestant to try and help Charles get a little bit of an advantage, let's say, to win the a million pound prize. Basically, Charles Ingram would read aloud the answers. And every time Charles said the correct answer, Tekman Wittig would cough, and that would signal to Charles that, that was the correct answer. For instance, if the, if the question was, what was two plus two? And the options were, is it three, four, five, or six? Charles would say, hmm, I think it could be three, or maybe it could be five, I have a feeling it could be four, then Wittig, <coughs> to signal that that is the correct answer. He tried it with the £8,000 question. Let's see how it got on. Who was the second husband of Jacqueline Kennedy? Adnan Kashogul? Ronald Reagan? Aristotle Onassis? Or Rupert Murdoch? Uh, I'm not certain. I would have thought it would be Aristotle or Nassis. <coughs> Why? 
Well, Ronald Reagan, um, I mean, I know who he is, but I don't remember he's ever been married to Jacqueline Kennedy. Our sort of analysis rings a bell or two. One of my sub strategies is to um, take my time here, so I'm pretty confident it's Aristotle analysis. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to go for Aristotle analysis. You're a wild and crazy man, Major. It's the right answer, you've got 8,000 pounds. Yes! Well, it seemed to be working. And that seemed to be a strategy all the way through. Although he knew the answer to the £16,000 question, so he didn't need Techman to cough on that one. However, on the 32000 something strange happened. Who had a hit UK album with Born To Do It, released in 2000? Coldplay? Top Loader? A1? Or Craig David? I'm not sure, I'm afraid. Born To Do It. I vaguely recall it. I, I'm sure. I'm sure I've heard of the title. Take your time. Have a look at it. You can obviously walk away with sixteen thousand pounds. You will lose fifteen thousand if you give me the wrong answer. I, d I don't think I've ever heard of Craig David. To be honest, Coldplay I've never heard of. And top top Lover is part of a rifle, so I don't think it's that. <laughs> it's also a brassier. Oh, is it? <laughs> well, thanks for that. Uh. Sadly, uh, I think I'll have to take the 50-50. Sadly, that's what they're there for. Right, computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Charles with the right answer and the wrong answer. That doesn't help me at all. <laughs> it seems like Tequin didn't know the answer to the question. Is it over? Has the strategy failed? Not necessarily. Thankfully, somebody else knew the answer and was willing to help. I think it's A1. I just I just never heard of Craig David. <coughs> I think I'll go for A1. A1 or Craig David. <coughs> well, um, 80% of the time I'm wrong when I'm guessing, so I guess I'll go with Craig David. Final answer? Final answer. You just won first two thousand pounds. Yes! That seemed to be a bit of a new time, wasn't it? Charles was det was certain, almost convinced, that the answer was A1. Until Diana coughed, and suddenly, oh actually, it's Craig David. It was at this point when the studio staff began to get a little bit suspicious. Something strange was going on. They said, normal people do not play like this. There was coughing on the 64,000. Gentlemen, the players was an annual match between amateurs and professionals. Of which sport? Lawn tennis? Rugby union? Polo? Or cricket? Could be lawn tennis. It might be lawn tennis. Polo. I don't think it was polo. It's least likely to be rugby union, I thought. Um, I don't think it's lawn tennis. If I had to guess, I think I should take cricket. I'll go for cricket, final answer. And on the 125,000... The Ambassadors in the National Gallery is a painting by which artist? Van Eyck? Holbein? Michelangelo? Or Rembrandt? I think it was either Holbein or Rembrandt. I've seen it, I think it was Holbein. <coughs> I don't think it was Michelangelo. I... I don't think it was Van Eyck. I'm not sure if I've even ever actually heard of Van Eyck. Um, I don't think it was Rembrandt. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Holbein. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, um, Holbein. I love sir. Yeah. And even on the £250,000. What type of garment is an Anthony Eden? Overcoat? Hat, shoe, or tie? I, th I think it's a hat. <coughs> a hat, yeah, it's a hat. You'll lose £93,000 if you're wrong, Charles. Yeah, I'm, I'm going for a hat. Final answer? Yeah, final answer. You've just won £250,000! Yes!
Come on! So for Charles, the tactics seem to be working. However, on the half a million pound question, the 500,000 pound question, Tech Rewitic did something that almost threw all that money away. Cameron Houseman is best known for his planning of which city? Rome? Paris? Berlin? Or Athens? I think it's Berlin, I think. Charles, ten minutes ago, you thought it was A1. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it was Berlin, I mean Hausmann. It's more of a German name than an Italian name. I'm not sure. Um, if I was at home, I'd be saying Berlin if I was watching it on TV. It's worth £500,000. You'd drop to £218,000 if you're wrong. Yeah, I I think it's Berlin. <coughs> I don't think it's Paris. <coughs> if you listen carefully against that scene, you may have noticed that Tekran was coughing and he was saying no as he was coughing. I'll play it to you again and see if you can hear it this time. It's Berlin. <coughs> if Charles interpreted that the wrong way, and thought the coffee meant Berlin was the correct answer, even though it wasn't, then you would have lost a lot of money. But then, Tequin knew the answer after that. He knew it was Paris and started coughing on the Paris, even though Charles was convinced it was Berlin. Let's find out what happens. I don't think it was Athens. I'm sure it's not Rome. I, I thought it was Berlin, but there's a chance it could be Paris. I'm not sure. I think it's Berlin, but it could be Paris. <coughs> I think it's Paris. <coughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna play. You've got £250,000, you've got no lifelines, if you give me the wrong answer, you've still got £32,000. That's guaranteed. If you give me the wrong answer, you've got £218,000 lost. If you give me the right answer, it's worth £500,000. You don't have to play it. Okay. It's either Berlin or Paris. And I think it's Paris. <coughs> yeah, I I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play. I'm, I'm gonna play Paris. You were convinced it was Berlin. I know, I know, I know, but I think I was wrong. Uh, I'm gonna go for Paris. Final answer? Final answer. You had £250,000. You did not need to play this question. You thought it was Berlin, Berlin, Berlin. You changed your mind to Paris. That brought you to £500,000. Yes! Oh, that was close, wasn't it? Almost threw that away. Turns out the answer was Paris. But Charles was like, Berlin, 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 Paris. Oh, right. He was convinced it was Berlin. He would have went for Berlin. He even said, I don't think it was Paris until the cough came. Then he said, actually, there's a chance it could be Paris. And as more coughs came, he thought, no, it's definitely Paris. Hmm. Do normal people play like that? Who knows? So it's now time for the a million pound question. If he gets his question right, He'll win a million pounds. And not without Techman's help. Let's see what happens here. A number one followed by 100 zeros is known by what name? On Google? Megatron? Gigabit? Or Nanomol? Right then. I'm not sure. However, Charles, you haven't been sure since Quest 2. <laughs> You've got £500,000 in your hand. Nobody at all would blame you to walk away with that amount of money. If you give me the wrong answer, you lose £468,000. I think it's a nano model, but it could be a gigabit. I think it was a Megatron, and I have to say, I, I, I don't think I've ever heard of a Google. Google, 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 Google. 
actually, by process of elimination, I actually think it is a Google, but I don't know what a Google is. I don't, yeah, I don't think it's a gigabit. I don't think it's a nanomole. I don't think it was a Megatron. I really do think it's a Google. But you thought it was a nanomole, and you've never heard of Google. There's a million pounds involved. I know, I know, but it's not a gigabit, nanomole, megatron, and there's only four of them, so it must be Google. I don't, I don't actually know what a Google is. I mean, it's the only time, it's the only chance I ever have of winning a million. You've got half a million. They're going over one you've never heard of. I don't mind taking the odd risks every now and again. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it's a gigabit. I don't think it was a nanomole. Megatron, mega, mega, mega. Yeah, I don't think it's a Megatron. I'm sure it's a Google. Chris, I'm gonna play. No, it's a Google. Yeah, it's a Google. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna play Google. Final answer? Final answer. Charles? Let me get the check. You no longer have that. You just won one million pounds. Yes. You have the most amazing questions you've ever, ever had. Sadly, after further investigations, the check was cancelled and all three of them were sentenced to court, being Charles, Diana and Tequin. They were all sentenced to court. Although, the interesting thing about all of this is that to this very day, they still maintain their innocence. They still claim that they did not cheat and they didn't even hear any coughing, let alone whether it gave them an advantage or not. They are still maintaining their innocence. Which begs the question, did they cheat or did they not? If you ask me, I personally think they did cheat, but you may think differently. So let me know in the comment section below. Do you think that they cheated or did you think they were innocent? I'd be interested to hear what you think. Until then, I'll see you all next week.